I went to a family doctor and because I had a lymph node um, just above my collarbone. Yeah, it was a little, little, little scary. She found her cancer through a, an enlarged lymph node in the neck area that kind of started the process of the workup for her ovarian cancer. And um, we performed the high prep procedure on her as part of her cancer treatment. I started with uh, Dr. Anderson here at Oman and um, was referred to Dr. Al Wahab, and I just love him. I love both of them dearly. I trusted Dr. Al Wahab, and that put me at ease. For Laura's cancer, she was diagnosed in an advanced uh, stage disease, stage 4B. So she required chemotherapy in the beginning to shrink the disease. And after receiving the chemotherapy, which we called a new adjuvant chemotherapy, we did scans for the patient and we discovered that the, now we can do surgery to remove the remaining disease for her. So the surgery was performed, followed by HIPEC immediately during the procedure. And then after that, the patient received additional cycles of chemotherapy. So after the HIPEC procedure, they usually stay in the office. It depends on the recovery, usually a couple days up to a week or two after they stay in the hospital. And then we follow up with them in the office a week after the procedure. At that time, we usually have the pathology report back so we can go over that in, in detail with the patient. The team has been wonderful. Everyone's been really friendly and that makes it very easy on the patient. We provide a multidisciplinary team approach to treat those cancers with an ultimate goal is to remove all the cancer in the patient with no visible cancer. She received chemotherapy before the procedure as well as after and now she's in the surveillance period so it's always nice to see these patients come into the office and bring her husband in and just hear stories about her life and how she's doing and it kind of helps us put it into perspective for other patients you know there's somebody who went through what you went through and now she's out enjoying life. I want to thank them very much for giving me another chance. It means a lot. My name is Laura Silvestri and I'm a cancer survivor.